I am speaking with Neil and Lindsay Brewer serving as fire missionaries in northern Iraq, serving the people there in humanitarian ways, bringing the gospel to them. Massive refugee camps now literally in their backyard because of the crisis in Syria. Uh, Many refugees fleeing there, some nominal Christian, some Muslim, uh, all of them hearing the gospel as the opportunity is presented. Uh, Neil and Lindsay, if you had to share some stories of people you've met who have had genuine encounters with Jesus, Jesus appearing to Muslims in their dreams. You know, we always hear about this, but you're there where it's happening. Is is this really happening? And can you give me some examples? Yeah. L- Lindsay jumped off the line, but I can answer for her if that's okay. Okay, great. Sure thing. There was a, uh, a woman that Lindsay met in the refugee camp, one of the camps that we regularly visit. And this woman asked Lindsay if she was a doctor. Lindsay said no, but tell me what's wrong. I'm a follower of Jesus. I can pray for you, and I believe he'll heal you. And the woman, the woman looked at Lindsay. She said, Jesus, I know him, and I love him. And so Lindsay said, please tell me, tell me more. And so the woman invited Lindsay into her tent, and the woman, woman began to tell Lindsay the story that she was burned very badly. Her legs were burned some years ago. And many other women were, I don't know if it was an explosion or a house fire or what, but many women were in the hospital with burns as well. And so one by one, the women began to die. And so this woman knows that she's next. So she drifts off to sleep, and she sees this man approaching her in, in a vision. And this man is dressed in white. He's got radiant light coming out from him. And she just instinctively knows that it's Jesus. So Jesus walks up to her, and he says, come follow me. And the woman says, I can't, I can't walk, my legs are burned. So as Jesus turns, the woman says, the hem of his garment rubbed up against my leg, and I could stand up. Mm. So she follows Jesus, and Jesus leads her down to a river, and Jesus begins to wash her legs in the water. She wakes up from the dream, she's completely healed. She leaves the hospital. And so she tells Lindsay, she says, how can I ever thank Jesus? And then she says, and where can I get some of this water? (laughs) So Lindsay Lindsay tells her, you know, I I have this this living water inside of me. It's Jesus. Let me tell you about him. So Lindsay shares the gospel with him. She prays to receive, receive Jesus right then and there. While she's praying... The problem that she had in her liver is healed. Her ear, which she couldn't hear out of, pops open and she can hear. Now, she's attending our house church meeting. She's bringing her children with her. She brought her sister to one of the home, home gatherings. It's just a, a beautiful story of Jesus revealing himself, but then, what, in a way, allowing us to partner with him in something that he's doing. And, and now she's, she's walking with Jesus. Incredible. First, first-hand yeah. testimony. And you're saying she was so badly burned, the others who were also burned had, had died, and she, mm-hmm. she realized she was next. She did. And she showed Lindsay the scars on her legs. She's like, look, this, I'm not making this up because of the scars. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, listen, I, I don't doubt a syllable of that. We know so many like stories, although that's, that is one of the coolest that, that I've heard, I have to say. And uh, so much need in the refugee camps. It's a human tragedy. Uh, so much displacement, so much loss of life, so much suffering. And yet God is using that to reach people with the good news. 